Hi, my name is Ashley Goodo, and I'm the political director and 5 p.m. anchor for KVU News in Austin. You know, being a journalist is not an easy job. It is something that you have to be really passionate about because the gig comes with a lot of hardship from the late hours to the actual work and working on holidays and weekends. But I made the decision to pursue, pursue a career in journalism because I want it to be the change that I wanted to see. I think so many times the narrative about black Americans can get lost and sometimes whether it's intentional or unintentional, the way that we are shown in the media can be negative. And the only real way I thought that you can combat that, the only real way I thought that you can change that is to actually become the media. Now that I am a journalist, um, you know, my commitment to my community is something that I'm very serious about. People turn to me when they're looking for truth and when they're looking for context, when they want to get beyond what they see in headlines to really understand what's going on. And so it is a great responsibility that I carry to be someone who helps to educate my community. When I think about the work that KVU does and our commitment, our, you know, our driving force, the thing that really makes us tick is this idea of making Austin better. And we are committed to, again, not only bringing people the headlines or the salacious, you know, news of the day, but really providing context and telling stories that matter to people, stories that matter to our community, the things that are gonna make our community better and the things that we know the people in our community value. Yes, there are a lot of flashy headlines out there, but we need to dig deeper as journalists. And here at KVU, you know, we really pride ourselves on digging deeper and helping people to understand how the decisions that are being made are going to impact their everyday lives. It's something that we all take very seriously day in and day out. We also get the privilege to share people's stories. It is, you know, such an honor to be able to tell someone's story, to tell how what happened to them is shaping the future or what they're doing to use that. And then also to share the amazing stories of great things happening in our community, like the work of the African American Youth Harvest Foundation and other groups that are working to truly have an impact to make this place a better place to live for all of us. You know, receiving a humanitarian award from the African American Youth Harvest Foundation to have my name even mentioned in the same space as Martin Luther King III and the Texas Black Caucus and the Texas State NAACP, it's such a huge honor just to know that I'm seen. And I think that's really, really important, particularly in the work that I do as a journalist, where so many times women of color you know, have a, a tough road ahead of them, and particularly in the political sphere where there are not a lot of black women, you know, around the Capitol or telling these stories or telling these political stories or speaking to people, you know, very frank and honest about how that laws that are being passed are gonna impact them. And so to be able to have my work and my dedication to the community honored in such a way with so many amazing people and so many great names. It is truly an honor I never thought that I would receive and something that I am so, so grateful for. Now more than ever, it seems like we could really use more unity. And I think bringing the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to Austin through his son, someone who actually got to cover when I was a journalist uh, working in Waco and the work that he was trying to do there, the message of unity, the message of moving forward and equality, it's so important. It's something that I think we need now more than ever before. There are so many forces constantly trying to tear us apart. And you know, sadly, it feels like it's political forces. And sadly, it can feel like they're winning and we're losing. But to be able to spread the message that there is hope and that there are things that we can do to make our community a better place to live and make our community more reflective of our values, where, uh, you know, to be a place where everyone is honored, it's so, so important. And so I think being able to bring that legacy right here to Austin with the Youth Summit and talking with people and meeting with people, trying to inspire change, I think that truly lives out the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And I'm so glad that I could be just a small part of it. 
You know, when I think about the work of the African American Youth Harvest Foundation, I find myself in awe. I have had the pleasure of covering the foundation for years now, um, you know, on the journalistic side of things, as well as working with the foundation on a few projects. And the work that is done by this foundation, the vision of Mr. Lofton is so big. We have to focus on our youth. They truly are our future and they have so much power and we just have to tap into that and help guide them in the right way. And so when you think about organizations that are solely dedicated to these children, these children who sometimes are forgotten or left behind, you know, to be able to pour into them is just such an important work. It's such important service that we have to do for our community. And so I think that the foundation is doing such a phenomenal job of doing that, being able to bring different nonprofits and organizations and people together from all over the country to really focus on the youth in Austin. It is amazing and it is something that we certainly could use more of. You know, my hope for Austinites and people, frankly, in all of Central Texas who are hearing this message, I hope that they would attend this youth summit so that not only the children can be inspired, but adults as well. So you can learn the impact that you can have on your community to link up with people who are of a like mind to get important work done to make our play our home you know, a better place. And going to the gala, I know it's all fun to get dressed up and attend a fancy gala, but when you think about being in a room with people who also wanna do the same things you wanna do, who wanna see the same Austin you wanna see and have that impact, being able to meet those folks. And so you can take that work and, and that, that message outside of the building and onto the streets to really have an impact. It is something that you can only get by attending something like the gala and like the Youth Summit. And so the hope is that people will really turn out and enjoy, be inspired, and then walk away and put into action the things that they learn throughout these activities.